Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Here is the Dell Laptop E7440. Now it's working fine. So let us check how this motherboard will work. Complete coil sections and complete voltage section we will check. Here is the motherboard. It's a Dell E7440 model number and motherboard model number is LA9591P. See, one of the toughest motherboard in Dell series because it's a latitude series. Uh, anywhere you go, latitude will be a little bit difficult in power section because here is the IC. It's a BQ15. BQ15 in a sense 24715. Okay. But why it's a tough? That is the main reason here. See, this IC is the main reason because here it's a CD3301B. See, once again I will show you CD3301P. This IC will control maximum uh, power section. Maximum power section, this IC will control. The first and second MOSFET and this charging some sections. All the things, this particular IC will functions. Okay. The main thing is, once it burned, so motherboard will be in dead condition. In that case, uh, there will be one chance you have to bypass this one. Until unless you bypass this IC, this motherboard won't turn on. Okay. To bypass those things, I mean this particular IC, you can check in my channel. It's a Pavitra Laptop Care. It's You can search CD3301. Okay, then you will get the bypass techniques. Not only this motherboard, multiple motherboard sections you can check. Hmm? Okay, anyway, here is the charging section and here is the CD3301. Here two IOs are there. Hmm? Same as I see, two IO it contains. Then what is the special in this? See, what are the coil sections that also I will tell you. If I turn this side here, See, multiple coils you are able to see here, but very few compared to other boards, right? So, what are those coils? I will explain you. See, this is the DC jack. First, you will, end, uh, you will give the source, right? It's adapter source and here is the battery source. There are two sources in any motherboard. It's a PBAT one and a DC jack one, okay? There's a DC jack, PJP DC one. So one source centers, I will start from this one, DC jack, hmm? one source and the other source also is there, it's a, what is that, uh, JDC dock, dock section also is there, yeah, from here also you will get the power source. Here is the processor, hmm? okay, uh, this is SOC, it's a PS, uh, sorry, PCH and this one is processor. Hmm? There are two RAM slots and multiple coils are there and what are those, uh, those coils, I will explain you now. So first, you will connect the DC jack, then this DC jack, see here is the track, see directly it's coming to the MOSFET, first MOSFET, PQ4, see, it's a source, source in the sense, gate should open, gate, for gate, this I see the CD3301, which I told you, you know, that one gives the get voltage to this particular first MOSFET and see usually first second and discharge MOSFET also will be there now for all I mean first and second this CD3301 will control and uh, discharge MOSFET will controlled by charging IC see here this is the first MOSFET and second MOSFET once you get the gate voltage from CD3301 B then finally you will get the output voltage from here it's a pr700 but one more interesting thing is here we are not getting the output from here there are two clrs right one is battery section and other one is charging sections okay but in this particular motherboard battery voltage will go to the particular uh, sections all sections this sections uh, voltage will go because here is the power source, uh, PR716 is the battery CLR, from here only the power source has taken to this particular motherboard, okay. So now there are two coils here, PL700, PL700 contains this source voltage only, it's a booster coil, okay. This is the main coil, main coil in a sense it's, uh, uh, you know that uh, battery CLR side one coil will be there, no, that coil, that is the main coil, from here, the source power source has taken to all other inputs 
main IC inputs. See, this is the first uh, coil and this is the sub coil. It's a booster coil. I'll call it. Uh, I will call it as a first uh, uh, coil. Okay. So here one more booster is there. It's a PL hundred. Okay. Next, the first coil, the main step down IC first coil. After this battery, this is the second one. PL one zero one. Here you will get three point three volts. And here PL one zero two. Here you will get what five point one volts. Right. This is the output. Hmm. And here one more coil. Is there okay? What is that? Here it's uh, PL two hundred. Obviously, this is a RAM voltage. Okay, which one? PL two hundred is the RAM voltage. Any other coil? Let us check. This is the CMOS section. Hmm? The RAM section. Here one more is there. PL three hundred. PL three hundred is one point zero five coil. Okay, here you will get the output of one point zero five volts. And here two bias are there. Biases are there. See bias chip, one and two. Hmm? Here the U C two, U C U two, and this one is U one. Hmm? And next this is the display section. Okay, anything else? Any special in this? This is the dark synaptex. Ah, this is the display section. Okay. And I think is there. Yeah, one more coil is there. See, it's a PL five hundred, but here PL four hundred is not there. After PL three hundred directly, PL five hundred you are able to see here. See, this one is main VCC core. Okay, the VCC core coil. It's uh, see, this one is uh, IC VCC core IC. From here only you will get the core voltage. It's a very simple. It's no maximum coils are there. Only few one. Two, three, four, five. See, usually any motherboard. In general, I am telling in any motherboard, battery coil will get after that step down voltage three point three and five. And next RAM voltage you should get right. So RAM voltage after that it's one point zero five. In some cases it's one point eight. As so many coils will be there, but here. So those all are maybe small small coils, but here is the major coil is 1.05. After that, directly single core, only one core section is there. Okay, this particular i5 here is the SR1 double E. This is i5 actually. This one is controlled by only single phase core. Now I will explain you the charging section. How the charging voltage you will get here PR. Seven one six. Uh, it's a little bit tough compared to normal one. It's a uh, two kind of uh, laptops you will get. One is commercial and one is professional. This is a professional series. Professional series contains multiple sections. See, here is a DC jack and normal jack and uh, here battery section also. And all the thing is main thing is protection. Protection I see is this one CD double three zero one. Okay. Anyway, uh, in schematic I will explain you how your uh, Power source is generating in this motherboard. Before explaining the schematic, first I will show you the coil voltages in DSO. Okay, now I am going to give the power supply. So now one by one, what source voltage has taken here? That I will explain you. See, this is the V in section. So here is the first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and CLR. This is the first coil, the battery coil, and this one is boost coil. See here is the first MOSFET, first MOSFET source, first MOSFET source is 19.5 volts. What about gate? Once you receive the gate, then only uh, you will get it right. So that's why the gate voltage is 6.4. It's from CD 3301 BIC. Okay, this is the first MOSFET. For the voltage, it's a six point five volts gate voltage, and here is the second MOSFET. Here's the train. Okay, train you will get what voltage? Just a minute. You will get nineteen point five, and here is the source. Source also what voltage? You will get the nineteen point five. Okay, the gate. It's from CD and red uh, CD double three zero one. 
here there is no voltage okay why i don't know let us check in schematic okay anyway uh, here we got the voltage okay anyway it will come to clr it will come to clr pr 700 here pr 700 voltage see here pr 700 voltage is 19.5 correct now here is the uh, what is that battery clr battery clr what is the voltage the battery clr voltage is 13.48 okay 13.48 that is in this particular coil this coil has 13.48 this is the source which i told you know this is the source here is the boost coil boost coil voltage what it will be it will be what is that 19.5 actually this one is phase 1 and here one more boost coil is there uh, that's a power source coil that coil is 13.5 see this voltage has gone to all the section now here the first coil of the step down what the voltage it's a 3.3 it's incoming one okay and what about outgoing output side output side is 3.3 okay and second mosfet of this step down ic this is the output side okay this is the output side is 5.0 what about input side input side also 5.0 okay both side is showing same no this is actually input side we are very fastly this signal is going so that's why i couldn't find those things okay we found the signal hmm? next here is the ram this motherboard is turned on let us check the ram voltage what will be there see ram voltage output is 1.35 okay what about input input signal see it's moving like this and what about this coil this coil is 976 is almost 1 volts 1.1 volts see almost 1.1 volts so what about input input see it's jumping like this okay and next this is the coil volts so coil is the final one see coil input will be like this and output see the coil output so 1.7 almost 1.8 okay this is the coil voltages of this latitude series now we come to know the ct100 uh, sorry discharging ic section how it will work in this particular latitude series